Well, for more on how bookstores are doing globally and the future of the publishing industry, we welcome the CEO of Cursor, Richard Nash. Now, Richard, what are the key factors really changing the ways that we read? Well, technology has always changed the ways we read. People sometimes forget that books are themselves technology. Uh, the invention of the scroll, the invention of movable type, the invention of four-color printing, all those uh, are technologies. They're just technologies that we got so used to because uh, uh, they became so much a part of our lives that they became invisible to us. So books and reading have always been changed by technology, but obviously with the advent of the smartphone and tablets, we do see ongoing, uh, we do see ongoing changes, and mostly those changes are just to make it more easy and convenient to read books whenever and wherever you want. And to that point, we know that when Amazon first came on the scene, some people were up in arms saying it was really going to kill the publishing world and physical bookstores. What's your take on companies like Amazon and their role in the digital evolution of books? You know, in some ways, um, you know, Amazon was a conventional bookseller in, in its own way. They, it, Amazon was doing the same things at the great big superstores like Borders and Barnes and Noble in the United States, and Waterstones in the in the UK, and Fnac in France were all doing, which is how do we increase the selection uh, of books? And so Amazon just took that to the nth degree and gave you all the books you might ever want. Adding digital um, made that more powerful, but in its own way, it didn't really uh, transform things as, as, as radically uh, as people worried. And I think we're finding that uh, it's, 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 a, it's an adjustment that everybody is actually capable of making, even in the industry. Now, we're certainly seeing some changes with Chinese audiences. What are some of the trends you're seeing there? Well, that's very interesting because what, you know, in the United States and in the West in general, ebooks mostly took the form of downloading a, a digital version of a print book uh, onto your Kindle. Um, but what has happened in China and to some degree also in Korea and Japan is serialized fiction. And in some ways, this is something that is very new, uh, a new installment every week. Uh, people pay for it by adding 50 cents onto their, their cell phone bills, onto their mobile phone bills. And there's just new installments, sort of like a soap opera. But in another sense, it is also hearkening back to the past of publishing. Dickens uh, did the very same thing in the 19th century, where he wrote new installments, which were published in newspapers each week. So in a certain sense, what we're seeing in countries like China is the advent of a whole new, but uh, referring back to the past, old business model coming back to the fore again, new chapters every week delivered directly to your phone. So as we see this decline in some of the brick and mortar stores, what should they be doing then to really try and stay competitive? I think the key thing is for them not to try to play Amazon's game. Uh, Amazon is always going to win on price and convenience. But price and convenience are not the only things uh, that matter to customers. People want an experience. They want an adventure. Uh, and the independent bookstores that are succeeding right now across the world have basically transformed themselves from being places where you pick books out to places where you dive into book culture, where you discover a, a, a whole new world, where it's not about all the books you might ever want, but working with the people who are very familiar with books, who are experts at books, and talking to them about what you love and working with them to help you find a book, to potentially meet an author, to have a, 
a cookery demonstration with a cookbook author. There are even bookstores that are uh, setting up uh, dating uh, services for their customers. So it's about creating a beautiful, uh, immersive experience for customers as opposed to just picking out the next book you want to read. Bookstores certainly stepping up their game there. Thank you so much. We'll have to leave it there. Richard Nash, CEO of Cursor.